Hey, do we want to spend any time talking about the CFP reaction? Uh, do you have any thoughts on ranking Michigan over Michigan State? Well, I have a lot of thoughts about it, but I don't know that it's worth talking about. I don't know that anybody wants to hear it. That's kind I, of where I The people that am. put this yeah. on, all, all this is going to be is continual pressing of the fact that the people that put this on, they're not just ignorant, okay? They're not just bad at their job, right? These people are terrible people, okay? This is Dan Wessel spun this the absolute correct way, and I don't know why I didn't think about it yet, and I'm glad the, that he talked about this. He talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I don't know that he did this this week or not on the Yahoo uh, College podcast, but it, it was basically look at who who created this playoff. Look at who created it. It's people, politics, politicians created this thing. What have politicians done to our country? All they've done is narrowed us down to our lowest common denominator, put everybody in camp, and get everybody screaming at one another and hating each other. That's all they've done over the last, I don't know, 20 years that I've been alive. I can't really speak to much that happened before, you know, the first, you know, whatever years before that. I, you know, I was just a child and, and I was oblivious to everything. We let those sons of bitches create the playoff. We let them show us how to make this thing and how to do it. And amazingly, it's done exactly what it's supposed to do. It has put people in camp. It gets people screaming and hollering. And nobody looks or cares about the end result because they're so angry by the time you got there, they're just glad it's over. Well, everybody did seem to think for whatever reason that all of the yelling and whatnot would actually be good for the sport, right? The Nobody opinion. thought that. No, Gary, no. you thought that. And a bunch of people that run college football thought that. No, no, no. We I'm, had those conversations. No, hold on. And I'm I talking told about, you over and over and over and over again that that is not good for your sport. The politicians that put this together believed that that was going to be good for the sport, right? And I think ESPN bought into that, right? The whole who's in thing all the time, all of the conversations surrounding it they thought would help drive interest in the product, and it turns out it has actually driven down interest in the product. Now, if you look at TV yes. ratings and whatnot, obviously those are back up this why, season. But why would the people? Why would the people who who bought into that buy into that? Because political uh, things have gone up. No, no, the number of people that show up to vote or, or uh, when they bought into this, especially, is lower than it's ever been. Nobody like. Why would you listen to these people? Yeah, true, I'm with you. I'm 100% They're all you. corrupt. They're all immoral. The world's a better place when they're all gone. Uh, this kind of takes us into the next topic, which uh, I'm just going to make them roll right into each other. They have been having meetings, of course. Uh, the CFP 12-team playoff committee, at well, the CFP committee that puts this whole thing together, you remember they came out with a 12-team plan, and it was going to be the six highest-ranked conference champions. Not a five plus one or whatever else, right? Uh, the eight team is off the table. So we don't have to worry about that one anymore. The 12 team is back on the table. However, it looks like the most likely option as of today, as reported by Ross Dellinger from Sports Illustrated, is we are going to have all of the Power Five conferences as automatic qualifiers and one of the highest G5 conference as another automatic qualifier. So you're, you're going to have six, and that's what it would be in most seasons. But as we saw last year, Oregon, as a Pac-12 champion, would not have been in the playoff, at least not automatically. Uh, I I do not like this. They caved to the P5 bunch again. And, and how that is going to be tossed in here with the Big 12 losing Oklahoma and Texas, I am kind of shocked at this. I don't know why they would uh, agree to this unless they just really could not get anybody on board with, with doing the top six. I just don't understand why they would do this. You you got a thought on it? Well, yeah, they're all corrupt because the people that are going to be left in the Big 12 feel like they're butt hurt and they, they want to still have power and they, they've hitched on to this alliance with these two other conferences, one of which is a dying you know star as well. And, and, and so... And so they want to run things. They're all afraid because the the, Amer the ACC, the Big 12, and the Pac-12 
all need to be very, very careful because the American and the Mountain West are just below them. And I don't even think they're below them, by the way. I absolutely don't. I think that that actually has a lot to do with this, right? I think it, I think the Pac-12 and the Big 12 realize that the AAC and the Mountain West are both really, really good. And in Don't any leave the year, ACC out of this, Gary. Don't leave them out of this. They're just yeah, yeah. They're just as bad. They're they're pretty bad this year. They're worse. Yeah, they're worse than those other conferences right now. No, you're 100 percent right about that. You're 100 percent right. Those... The Pac-12 is substantially better than the big uh, the ACC this year. Yes, yes, I tend to agree with that. The ACC is is pretty bad. If it were not for now, I will say that there is some fun football going on, but there's no consistency. There's no great programs. Clemson, I would imagine, will bounce back eventually. And you've got teams that are building, but they're they're not good this year. But that's the thing. They don't want a down season to cost them a playoff spot. So it, it, we did have an eight and five Wisconsin when the Big Twelve or Big Ten, excuse me, uh eight, nine, ten years ago, somewhere around there. I mean, Bielema was still the coach for them, but that's what we would have. In this situation, you will have a four or five loss team at some point make the playoff. It's a bit of a joke, but also, I'm okay with them making the playoff. I'm not, hang on. Here's the thing: if we're going to do that, then let's let all the conference championships just get it. Right. Let's, let's just, just make, make it make sixteen. It, and and let's just make it sixteen. Yeah, I'd be totally fine with that. And in some years, because then you only UConn. talking about ten spots, <laughs> and then you got six six uh, 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 at large spots. Yeah, and one of them will most likely be taken by Notre Dame most seasons. So you got five other at larges because Notre Dame not being in a conference would actually cost them quite a bit in this spot. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I found it very, very interesting. Very interesting to say the least.